Welcome grade six to lesson 2.1. This is the second chapter of the year. And in this one, we're going to start working on what's called number theory. And we're going to explore larger numbers and give you a chance to learn how to read and write them and what happens to them when you increase certain space, uh, place values and stuff like that. So let's get started. Reading and writing larger numbers. Everyone in the world, sooner or later, comes up with um, huge numbers. This could be at school or at work or anywhere. One of the Nice Books rounds is the Guinness Book of World Records 2008, and I got this fact from it, even if I did misspell batch. The largest batch of cookies was made in Van Indel, Netherlands. It contained 207 860 cookies. So what I'd like you to do is write that number down. Pause the recording and write it down in words. All right, you should have written 207,000, oops, sorry, that should be a S-E-V-E-N, um, 860, okay, yeah. How do we read these numbers? Well, when you see 207 and 860, the 207 is in the period, and that's what this thousand is called, the period. And it's read 207,000, and then you go to what's in the units, and you read these as a number two. So this has got 860. Now, you don't say units, you just say 860. So to read this one is 207,860. So if you put it all together, this is what it should look like. In number word form, that's just a shortened way that we can uh, write numbers down. And what we do is we don't write 207 down in words. We only write the period that something's in in words. So this becomes 207,860. And you can see this. It's actually quite a bit shorter. OK, let's go on to the next one. Next thing I want to take a look at is what's called place value and value. And I'm going to go back here and use this one we just did. Okay. Now we're talking about the number 8, and you're asked for one of two things. The first one is, what is the value of the 8? And that means, how much is it? And that means that that 8 is actually 8 hundredths. All right. The second part is, what is its place? And the value of its place is hundreds. It's in the hundreds place. So its value, 800, its place value is in the hundreds. Okay. Remember, they're two different things. So let's take a look. There's your answers there. The 8 is 800 in its value. That's how much it is. And it's in the place of the hundreds. Okay, here we go. So let's put this into the chart. You have 23,456245. So we know we have 245 in the units, 456 in the thousands, and 23 in the millions. Now remember, when you have less than three digits, you always start from the right-hand side. So this is 23,456,245. So in word form, you do the first part, 23 million. Now go to the second period, 456,000. And then you go to the last one, which is 245. Now this is a long thing to write. However, we can shorten it up by using what's called number word form. Now number word form takes and goes 23. You don't have to write that in words. You write that as a numeral. So this becomes 23, but you have to write the million, that's the, the, uh, what's called the period, in the actual words. So this is 23 millions, 456,245. So let's take a look at the 6. The 6 has a value of 6,000. Its place, though, is in the thousands place. Now, remember, they're different things. Value is how much it is. Place value is the place it's in. All right. Let's see if you can do one on your own now. I want you to put 1192492 into this place value chart, and I want you to do the number word form, so the word form and the number word form, and then I want you to tell me the place value, or the value and the place value of the three. So pause the recording and do this. All right, here we go. Well, we have 1 million, so that's going to be over here. On the, I don't know, I have 3. That's supposed to be a 3. Okay, that kind of messes that up, doesn't it? All right, well, we'll just go over here and we'll just put a 3 there. Kind of silly, but I don't know why that's not there. All right, so we have 3 million, and then we have over here 192 thousands, and then we have 492 as, as our units. So again, to read this, 3 million, 192,492. So in word form, 3 million, 192,492. 
Now in number word form, you put the three in a numerical form and the period is in words, so that's three millions. You go 192, you put this in its numerical form and you add the word thousands. And then of course now you just add the 492 numeral. Taking a look at the value of the three, the value is three million. The place value is the, value, the place that it's located in and it's in the millions place. Okay. There's another one for you. I'd like you to do this whole example, please. So pause the recording and try this one. Okay, one four eight eight zero 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 zero. First off, you take a look. This is the units, the thousands, and this here is the millions. So we don't have any billions. This is all blank. The millions start with one four eight. Then we put in eight hundred, and then of course these are all three zeros. You have to include those. So in word form, this is going to be the number here, plus you add behind that the period title. So this is 148 millions. And then you have 800, and we're in the thousands. Now since there's nothing here, you don't have to write anything down about. Number word form, a lot shorter. You write 148, and then you put in the word millions. And then over here, 800, and add the period title, thousands. What about the four? Well, the four is in the 10 millions place. Oh, sorry, back, back up. The value of the four is 40 million. It's in the 10 millions place. All right, let's have you try this one here. So 3560532050000. Pause the recording and complete this example. All right, well, the first thing you should have noticed is now we have billions. 356 billions. We have 53 millions. Remember, you start them on the right-hand side. There's no hundreds in this million, so we have a zero there. 205 is in the thousands, and of course, 000 is in our units. In number word form, it's going to be long. 356 billion, 53 million, 205,000. Right. In number word form, a little bit shorter, 356 billion, 53 million, you don't put the zero in, 205 thousands, 205 thousands. Now taking a look at the six here, the six value is six, mil, sorry, six billion. Okay, so that's its value, six with nine zeros. Now taking a look at its place value, it's in the one billions place, or just simply the billions place. Last one. Okay, so pause the recording and do this last one right here. All right, let's take a look. Two, we have th units, which are zero, zero, zero. We have 800,000 right there. We have no millions, they're all zeros. 57 billions and 232 trillion. So again, to put this in word form, 232 trillion. 57 billion, 800,000. Now in number word form, a little bit shorter, 232 trillion, 57 or 57 billion, 800 thousands. There you go. Okay, hopefully you're getting this. The next thing we're going to do is start breaking things up. Now this goes into something later where we're going to be doing what's called standard, um, sorry, I was going to say standard deviation, but no, it's not correct. We're, when we do expanded form, we're going to go from this into uh, exp exponential forms and stuff like that later on in grade 9, where we take really big numbers and we, we shrink them down by using powers of 10. So, but the beginning is right here. We're going to take these numbers, 354, and we're going to try to break them up into their pieces. Now, the 354, as your notes say, that's what we normally refer to, or that we refer to as standard form. That's the way you would normally write a number, 354. Now, Expanded form, well, if you think about expanding, expanding means to grow or to, to, to spread out. And what we do is you break them up into their place, uh, in, uh, break them up into their values. This 3 represents 3 to 100, this 5 is 50, and the 4 is 4. So you just take the 300 plus the 50 plus the 4. Let's try a little bit larger number now. You've got 34,987. So the 3 is 30,000. The 4 is is 4,000, the 9 is 900, the 8 is 80, and the 7 is 7. 
All right. Let's have you try this one here. Pause the recording and see if you can get this one in place. Okay, so this one is in the millions place, and it's 100, so it's 100 million. This is in the millions place, and it's in the tens, so this is 20 million. And, of course, this is 6 million. Now we're in the thousands. This is 400,000. This is 50,000. 6,000. 700. 60. And 3. So it works out really well when you do this. However, sometimes you don't have a number in the middle. You have what's called a zero. Now in expanded form, when you have a zero there, that means that that place, uh, the, the value of the digit in this place actually has no value. It's zero. It's nothing. So you can ignore it. So you start with the two and say that's 200. And then you can skip this and go right to four. So this becomes 200 plus four. So if we're down here and taking a look at this one, <clears throat> 124 million. 429, you don't have to include any of these zeros. Start with the 1, and that's 100, and we're in the millions place, so the 100 million. 2 is in the 20 million, so that's, sorry, that's 20 million. 4 is in the millions place, so that's 4 million. Now these get skipped because we don't have to use them. So we can go directly to 400, 20, and 9. All right, so what we have here is our next example of 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and followed by the three. So take a moment and do that example and see how you do. Okay, so you're all back. Here we go. Well, first thing you should note is that this here is two, and that is in the one, units, thousands, millions, billions. So you should have two billion. Now notice how the zeros all match up, don't they? All right, there's three zeros here, three, three, and three, three, and three, three, and three. So if you were to count these spaces, that would tell you how many zeros to put behind the two. And of course, the three doesn't have anything else, so it's just added to the three. Okay, so our next step is to go backwards. To go backwards, what we're going to have you do is reassemble the number or put it back together. To do that, it's pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is grab the numbers and put them in the proper order, starting with the last three. Notice this is ones tens, hundreds. So this group right here, this is your hundreds, your, your units, and that's 335. Now, ignore that, now we're done. Go to the next one. This is 6,000, and this is 20,000, and that's 300,000. So that makes 326,000. Now over here, we have 20 million. Oh, sorry, I forgot, and 100 million, so it's 120 million. There are no billions, and there are no trillions. So the standard form is going to be 120 million 400, sorry, 120, oh, no, I, got, I got something mixed up here somewhere. So but anyway, 120 million 326,335, okay? So don't worry about, don't forget about the zero that's in place there. All right, another way to do this is you can add them, all right? Now, you can take 200 million, so 20 million, 3 million, 70,004, and you can add them up, but make sure you keep the uh, lines, the safety lines in place or whatever as you add them so you don't mess it up. If you mess it up, you're going to get them wrong. But the good way of doing this is you're usually only adding zeros in one digit. So this one becomes a four. You notice the second, uh, the tens place is all zeros. The hundreds place is all zeros. The thousands place is all zeros. The ten thousands has a seven in it. There is nothing in the... Uh, the hundred thousands, the millions place has a three, and the twenty million is right here. So if you're going to do this, make sure you do it. It's okay, it's fine, but you're going to have to add them up. All right, try this one. Pause the recording. See if you can put it together. This one's all mixed up. So see if you can figure it out. All right, I decided to add. So I put the uh, I chose this one to be on top because it's big, it's 900 million. Then I threw the 2, the 30,000, the 200, and the 70. And notice everything always lines up. And there's only one digit for each column. So this is the 2s, this is the 7s, this is 2s, this is zeros, this is 3, then we have 0, 0, and then we have a 9. So this becomes 900 million, 30,272. Okay, so now that we've worked with the larger numbers, let's see if you can do some adding. Now remember, what you're doing is you're going to have to locate the place value that we're working with. So it says add, it says 1,000 more 
than 23,044. Well, if we have 23,000 and you have 1,000 more, that means you have a total of 24,000. Well, the 4, 4 doesn't change. 100 more than 1,234,900. Well, this is kind of trickier because if you have 900, that 100 is going to cause this 900 to form 1,000. That's going to cause the 4 to be rounded up. So you're going to have 1,235,000. 100 less than 234,000, sorry, 100,000 less than 234, 342, I'm getting all mixed up now. 100,000 less than 2,342,897. So just examine this part right here in the middle of 342,000. If there's 300,000s there and you have 100,000 less, this becomes 242,000. 1 million less than 238 uh, billion, 282 million, 292,133. So find the millions. Well, this is the, uh, the units, the thousands, here's your millions. And you want to have one less. Well, I have 282, so take one away. This becomes 281. So the 238 stays the same. The 282 becomes 281, and everything else remains even. 100 less than this one, 121 million, 213,000. This is tough because you have to borrow. I've got no hundreds to take away in the units. So I've got to go to the thousands and I've got to take and convert this to a thousand by borrowing. So the 121 isn't affected, but the 213, I'm going to borrow a thousand from it to put over here so I have something to subtract from. So 213 becomes 212. Now that I carried the one over here to the thousands, 1,000, take away 100, is 900. Okay, so watch the video again if you need to. And here is your assignment. Actually, these aren't the numbers. You have to wait for me to get them to you. All right, catch you later.